Hey, uh, Jamie's rock. I know it's totally crazy. So deadlift rock. This is what we've got. Kai. The Kai. What's up? Can you show us everything that you know about Jamie's rock? Deadlift, deadlift rock. <laughs> we've been having way too much fun with this, so we thought we would share. So go ahead. <laughs> Easy does it, peasy. Dude, you're so gonna fall. I kind of thought you might show people the stuff from down here on ground level, but that's okay. Hey, well, you're already up there. Yeah. <laughs> well, first things first, it's lightweight. <laughs> it I weighs 100 that, pounds. That's a nice, not lightweight. <laughs> hey, it just depends on how big a fellow you are. Well, yeah. How much do you weigh, Kai? 70 pounds. All right, and it weighs, it weighs, should weigh about 100 pounds. So what else do you know about this thing? Everything, you told me everything about well, it. Well, I just talked to you about it. I don't know. What do you weigh? Well, I know. <laughs> okay, I've told you all about it. You already forgot about it. You just don't pay any attention to me whatsoever at all. Just pitiful, pitiful. Okay, so I'll show you everything that I know about it. It's heavy and it's metal. Uh, <laughs> It's made out of quarter inch, uh, two inch by quarter inch square tubing. So some of the things that, uh, one of the things that probably sticks out to you is this bar right here does not come all the way to the end. I did that on purpose. Uh, the welds here, I wanted to have a good beefy spot to weld to, so I held it off enough, it's, I held it off three eighths of an inch so I could get a good beefy weld in here. Otherwise, you have two joints that lap, and you can't, can't get a good weld there. So I didn't like that, so I held it off a little bit. That way you got a nice, beefy weld there. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, the rock itself is 60 inches long. So she's 60 inches long. Boom. The handles are 26 inches center to center. So I like that pretty well. Uh, a lot of uh, squat racks, not squat racks, a lot of uh, uh, hex bars and stuff, trap bars, they're 24 to 25 inches, depends on uh, who builds them. Uh, one of the restrictions if you're wanting to make a rackable a trap bar is you've got 43 inches on the inside of your load sleeve, so in order to fit in the rack, you're kind of restricted on how wide your handles can be. With this, I really like the feel of these 26 inch handles. These things feel good. Some people would call this a uh, uh, deadlift frame. So instead of referring to it as Jamie's Rack, we could call it Jamie's frame. So uh, this guy's gonna pick this up. Uh, the rock should weigh, I kinda like done a quick doodad, a boo boo on a piece of paper, should weigh right at 100 pounds. Uh, but since Kai can pick this thing up, and I happen to have a scale, I think we should weigh the kid and the thing. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay. All right, so what else uh, do you see interesting about this? Something else I think is totally cool is I put these rings on here, okay? So what these rings do is they keep the weight from setting on the frame and it keeps it from setting on a weld. Don't like weight setting on a weld. Don't like weight setting on a frame. You know, if uh, I'll show you, I got a weight over here. I'll show you the way that you set it down and what can happen to a finger nugget. Sorry, you ready to have your finger smashed? No, that's fine. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> you were too easy to walk with. Let's say if you put the weight down here, you don't have those little collars on the load sleeves. I'm going to try to lower you. You're getting lower. Oh, yes, you are. All right. Your finger. <laughs> Your finger nuggets. Yes, sir. That's that about second study. Well. Hey, shorty. Get it? It's shorty. You shorted it? It was really big, now it's short. Yeah, I got you. Okay. He don't get it, does he? <laughs> uh, 
All right. <laughs> so if you set the weight on there, you can't pinch your finger that bad. So you see the fingers there? That's something I've done before in the past on a uh, setup, and I absolutely hated it. You smash your finger nuggets once, and then you're like, I'm not going to do that anymore. And if I'm building the freaking thing myself, guess what? I'm not going to do it. So if you set this down here, you can set it, and it's not going to smash your finger nuggets. Okay? Yeah, it would probably be your fault if it done it because, I mean, gee whiz, you know, if you set your hand in between something and a weight, it's going to get smashed. But And then if you go to get it off, it's so much easier. Hey, a trusty tool. Yeah. And that's what steel toe boots are for. Had some splatter on it. Hey, two more questions that I asked yeah. over there, but they yeah. yeah. reason that these have these are here and then after that, the reason that you did not put the rubber pieces on it. Okay. So I didn't put rubber pieces on the end of this because some people race with these frames. They use them like farmer walk handles, okay? And they're really cool with that because the bad thing about farmer walk handles is whenever you turn or something, they bang against each other. That's part of the mystique of using farmer walk handles, is being able to handle them. Uh, but a lot, of, uh, a lot of competitions, instead of doing farm walk handles, they'll do frames or they'll race with a frame or they'll train with a frame. It's actually safer, uh, I think it is. And the legs are on here so that if you drop it, that you can't get your foot stuck underneath of it. Can you imagine having two or 300 pounds or 400 pounds on one of these things and dropping it on your foot? I mean, that would be devastating. Not a good time. So we've got that. And what else did you ask? Oh. Usually we put rubber grommets or rubber pads on the bottoms of stuff like this. And uh, if you're going to be racing with it and dropping it on the ground, you're just going to tear them off. Uh, you could put skid pads on here, you know, a bigger plate. I thought about doing that. But I was afraid that if you did use it to, to run or to race with or whatever, that you'd end up denting and dinging the pads up because you'd hit on one corner and not the other corner. And... I thought, man, it just, I don't think it would be a useful enough addition to put on it. I think it could be possibly more of a hindrance. So, let's see how much a kid weighs. One more question. Yes, sir. Are we ready to lift this thing? Huh? Are we ready to lift that? Let's see what the kid weighs. What are you, kid? 70. 70 pounds. 70. All right, the kid's 70 pounds. The time of truth. I guessed this thing at 100 pounds. Haven't weighed it yet. Don't have a clue, but on paper, this thing should weigh right at 100 pounds. So, kid. So, it should weigh one second. I'm going to stick this thing here between your legs. <laughs> there we go. Now. Oh, man, the rubber band come off of it. I've got to get a better way to do this than a rubber band. There we go. All right, can you lift the frame? I don't know if that thing stuck in between my legs in such a weird space because I always <laughs> fall my legs up. Oh, it back down, back down. Where was it? Did you see Kai? No, I was busy trying to lift it. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't get to see either. So uh, if somebody <laughs> can. Put in what it weighed because I don't know. It should have been in the ballpark of 100 pounds. Um, and Kai weighed 70, so it should have been around 170 pounds. Uh, here, let me flip the thing up so you can look under the hood. Watch out, Kai. You can do it! <laughs> we left it, the boy. Huh? like Miami uh, the misses look like 180 so that means it's gonna weigh 
about 110 pounds. Uh, anytime that you see me like reply to stuff, I'll usually put David, and my wife sometimes replies, she'll put Pam because that's her name. It's Pam. So here's some of the welds and stuff that I enjoy making on this one. This uh, I hadn't cleaned it up, but we've got these edges here. I put the solid pegs on it, so these are welded and then buffed down. So uh, you know, it's that way it, it distributes the weight a little bit more on a pad instead of edges. Just a better way of doing something. Uh, got some pretty beefy welds. The way that I did the these pieces here. Uh, so I groove the bottom of each one of these to fill in a weld there and then over the top with another weld. So, you know, these are on there about as well as you can, you're going to end up bending the metal before you break the weld off. And let's see, what else do we have? Hmm. Uh, the coping in the pipe. Uh, I like to do coping, and what coping is, is that's whenever your wife makes you mad, you just deal with it. That's called coping. Not really. A coping is the radius on a pipe. So, the coping on this, uh, you know, it's just a radius cut out for the pipe. Adds a little strength to it. And we put some pretty beefy welds on here on the handles because, you know, if there is a weakness in this design or in this, it's going to be in these handles, but it's going to hold anything that a man can humanly pick up and, and move. And Keanu had a pretty good idea that, uh, I don't know if anybody is interested in something like this, but it is kind of cool. Uh, you could make one of these where it was adjustable, okay? So what his idea was, demonstrate your idea. Yeah. Uh, here, I'll just move it. I'll just, I'll be the camera man. You be the kid. Right here, just like um, making this side over here of a different mound that will slip into this, and then up here the opposite side of a different mound that will slip into it. And what would be the reasons behind that? What would make that good? The opposite sides. No. Why would you want to do that? That way, if you're bigger, then you can slide out more. If you're smaller, you can slide in more. Yeah. And what would that change? It would change because it feels awkward to little people <laughs> and bigger people. You would be able to change the handle width. So if you wanted it to be uh, 26 inches, then you could drill this and have pins. And I got some metal up here to show you exactly what he's talking about. And the pins have actually got pins too. So. What you would do is you would get some pins like this, okay? These are grade eight. And you would get a piece of solid stock like this. And you would make it where it indexed into the other piece. So you would have your main frame on the front. You would have this piece. And this piece, I know it, it's not going in there, okay? But it would go in there. What keeps this piece from going in, this piece will fit inside of here. What keeps this piece from fitting inside of here, if you'll notice, it's not, you know, it fits. Dad, be smart about this. Yes, sir. <laughs> show them from this, the, show them from this angle, show them. Uh, yeah, you gotta put on it right. I can't really see it in the trap. Oh, son, be smart about this. I am. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm trying to show them the lining of it. Yeah, because Dad isn't smart. Yeah, <laughs> just just do this. Hey, how about I do it that way? <gasps> how about you? All right. Watch. Alright, so where's the camera thing? Alright. See this little, where is it? I'll find it. Is it not in this? No, there it is. It's just covered with metal. All right. See this little piece right here? Well, this goes all the way back. That's the one thing keeping it. So well, what's why? that piece called? And why is it the in inside weld, and it is to keep it together. Yeah, you have a weld. The pipe is welded together. It's a seam weld. You can see it right. 
Yeah, this side's better, right there. And that weld on the inside is what keeps this from going in. So if I put this in here like this, you know, I mean, it could go in. Uh, what you'd have to do if you was to use these two is uh, you'd either have to buff this out, which would be a royal pain in the rear end, or you could groove this, just cut a small little groove in here. And that would probably be the best way to do it. And uh, then you just have the pins that would pin this together, slap your pins in here, bing, bing, and you would have an adjustable width frame or rack. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, other than that, that's about the only thing that improvement. You could make these, uh, you know, one guy, uh, one, oh man, I'm horrible with names. But we had a suggestion of making these removable and making attachments on it. You could do that as well. Uh, man, that's pretty much the rack. I, I wanted to like show you guys this to get you all ideas. So, give me ideas. Uh, looks like we're going to be able to uh, have some collars up at the Arnold's this year. That's pretty cool. And we were thinking about doing the red. This is a, so this is a red and uh, black pin contrast. I think it looks pretty cool. Or we were thought about doing the reds. So let me know what you think. Should we try to do red collars? Uh, I mean, we could do red collars for everybody, I guess. But I just thought it'd be cool, you know, me to make a different kind of special thing. Yeah, so it stands out. You know what I mean? Whenever they take pictures, it's like, hey, that red collar right there, I know where they come from. Ooh, I need to go buy something from him. <laughs> I don't know. He's working on a new video game, is what he's wanting to work on. Huh? I figured he's working on a new video game. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Why would I be? I don't know. Why would you be? I don't know why you even think that. Because you like to play the video games. Yeah, of course I do. Finally got stuff like that. That playing that game that you just told me that's playing more of. Oh. That odd game. Hey. Oh, and these. These things here are some new chain collars that uh, we're going to come out with it in the future. They're not as strong as how much you can potentially lift, but you can still, with the hook in this fashion, to you still lift a lot of weight. But this will let you put bands on and off really quick. Uh, this is uh, this is an idea that was. I uh, sent to us a uh, custom build for a customer. He said, hey man, you can like build those for other people. We don't care, I don't care. So uh, I'm gonna name the collars after him. So they're gonna be, uh, you know, they're gonna be his, he's gonna carry his name, I guess. Not, I guess, I will. But I think that's, that's pretty cool. Anyway. Oh, and the reason that these are not on eBay or Amazon from us is because they are stupidly high to ship. Yeah. So if you want to come pick them up, feel welcome to order one. And if you want to pay shipping on them, I mean, I would love to build you anything that you want that I can. But shipping's a beast. Uh, I had a guy ask about this, saw all the pictures. The shipping to him was going to be $210. And I will give you the size and stuff. You already know what it weighs. 110 pounds, 16 inches tall, uh, multiple well figure 17 inches tall, uh, 28 inches wide, 16 inches long. I mean, if you can get a better rate on shipping through your company, some companies have better rates, and they can actually send a sh send us a shipping label. They pay shipping. It's pretty cool. Uh, love to build anything on earth that that I have time to build and that you want to build. He is playing nunchucks with a pin. She wins. We're going to get the ball with Kenny. Oh, yeah. Boy. Hmm. I'm going to tell your mama. Wow. I'm going to tell your mama. Tell me on what? Tell me. I'm telling your mama on you for beating me up and being mean to me. Good. Look, my feelings are getting hurt. Both of them. I got feelings here and feelings here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I ain't talking about the feelings in my teeth. I'm talking about the feelings in my heart. You're hurting my heart. Look, yeah, my heart hurts. Ew. There, fixed. I just put a pin in it. I'll pin it back again. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, most of the stuff that we build never makes it up on the website, never makes it anywhere. And that's one of the reasons we started doing some of this stuff so people could see 
different stuff we build and if you've got ideas or something you want built, let me know. Catch you all later and What's that? <laughs> next Sunday we'll do another we'll do another live uh, stream next Sunday. So Wah. He has to poop. <laughs> <laughs>